Hello everybody and welcome back to Mesa Peach 3 where I am on a roll. How exciting! I mean this gun shotgun sucks. A uh, quarry and electrical weapon that's best at close range. I should have read the description, but at least I have my shotgun pistol. No, that's not the way up. Mm, down? Down is the way up. Awesome. I sorry, my camera. Eee! Trying to get far enough away. I don't think I have a ton of health. And I don't think Tally has a bunch of health. She's been alright though. But blood? Live? Oh. You. You heard my message. <laughs> Send out a distress call. Radios are down. You a soldier? Maintenance. Dorm hats. I... Uh, uh, I clean engine parts. Oh, this hurts me every time. This place is filled with geth. You should have hidden. I saw I could buy the other civilians' time, fight some death. There were so many. First time I've even held a gun. I'm gonna cry. Don't move. We've got Metagel. Oh, I've lost too much blood. You don't know that! Go. Look for the Admiral. Destroy that jamming tower. And you can ride your- No! We'll find him, Dor. I promise. Please, listen. The civilian fleet didn't want this war. If there's even a chance that Admiral Gorus can get us out alive, and my son. Oh my him. gosh. Tell Jonah that his father made it to the home world. We will. Rest well, Dorn has the Vas Renok. Let's get to that tower. Ugh, every time. It's just like, you know, it's like, oh, at least I got to the home world. But I don't know, like, it's it's just extra tragic when it's a kid, you know? And you're like, Ugh. And like, the civilians didn't want this, which blows my mind, because they make up the vast majority of the fleet. Like, they should, I... I'm not a hundred percent on, you know, Korean politics or anything, but like, their not wanting to be involved should have been a massive, like, dissuasion. Get the turret. Mm. <laughs> 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 you care what it's just. He's just taking him to the face. Ah, I'm taking him to the face. Um. Civilians are involved in this at all. But I know, I, I keep saying, I know that they are a, a, a military sort of aut 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 autocracy. Oligarchy, kind of? Uh, I don't know, but. Who do you want on this gun, Shepard? Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tally. I want you on this, Tally. Right. I like Garrus's gun. Should hop in that turret, Shepard. Oh, what turret? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Protect squad mate. This turret? Right here? This one? 
Get inbound. Oh, she's still going. Okay, uh, hurry. Can I? Well, where are the enemies at? Do I have to poke it myself, or? Oh. Who should disable the gun? It's a protect squad mates. I thought I had just chosen Tally. I want you on this, Tally. Right. You know? But apparently it was still deciding. Done. I'll signal the shuttle. The pyro looks like it's about to blow up. rescue him despite him in this it's that it's that war calculus right where it's like do you save like the leader or do you save like the most people you can but then you start doing the thing of like well who's more valuable a bunch of random like to the war effort a bunch of random civilians or a leader who can like help us with the cause of like stop like trying to uh like facilitate peace with the geth right that's what he is essentially is um somebody that could help us with that and so tally wouldn't be on her own you know um and in that in that regard and so but it's like oh such a terrible thing to have to do like shepherd's like ah oh, my nice sentiment of saving everybody um but yeah, I don't. I think if we do this, we can maybe save his people too. But we might just have to leave them. Might just have to leave them there. Ugh. Admiral, I need you leading the civilian fleet if we're gonna. And end they do this. want him back. Civilians, our entire race took up arms for this insanity. It's too late for us. 
It's only too late if you die down here. You can't possibly think you can stop this. I can't. I don't know. What I do know is that I can't do it without your help. Like, we do need him for the rest of the civilians, too, you know? Ancestors, forgive me. Uploading my coordinates. You know, I don't know why I couldn't We're send, you know, another squad out to go rescue the civilians. I got a bunch of people sitting on their hands. I mean, maybe it would be too late, but... I've got this. I can't actually, I can't see anything. I have no idea what's going on. You're clear, go! Oh, okay, okay, <laughs> this is, I remember this! It's like a weird part where we're like, usually it's like, usually it's like you that's doing the running around like a maniac. <laughs> Right now, you're cover firing for him. I can't see anything like while I'm firing. And my shuttle is having a very hard time. Okay, good, because I can't I can't see anything. Admiral, come on! Oh no. We are Welcome we are cold, man. Shepard, my crew. Perhaps there's still time. Hello, this is Zell Chorus. Does anyone copy? Hello. I'm sorry. We've got to go. There wasn't enough time. Yeah, to pick one or the other. I pray they found comfort in the homeworld skies. <laughs> We'll probably save more people by having him on our side than we would have if we had just saved the civilians. Spread further than I thought. You were right that I returned. Yeah. Have you talked to civilian captains? They the needed state? him. Yes, they've regrouped into defensive positions around the fleet's core. If we hadn't stopped them from... Any aid I can offer is yours. They could have... After the Quarians drove the Geth straight into the Reaper's arms, I'd give anything to stop the madness of this war. And that's why your people needed you yeah. back. Of course. It's time we turned our attentions to those we can like still Like, it's one thing to sacrifice yourself. Farewell, Shepard. Fly safe. But that sacrifice should mean something in, in a war like this, right? And it says something to me that it's the Paragon action to save him. You know, that it is the... It is the thing to do for if you're trying to do what's best in the long run, you know, so. Zen, we need those ships to recover life pods. There'll be more valuable running salvage. What? No! You crazy? We're not letting people in life pods die just so you can rummage through Geth debris. You yourself said the life signs were weak. They might already be Or just jammed. It's not your call to make. Yeah. Any tech we can recover gives us an edge against the Geth. About Manipulative our... witch! Zen, we need the Zen, you can always send a cell. Yeah! Like you don't need that right now. What are you gonna figure out in the next five minutes? I'm diverting ships to rescue life pods. As soon as they're finished, I want them back. Yeah, what are you gonna figure out in ten Thanks, minutes? Shepherd. You know what I mean? Like you can save people in ten minutes, but you're crazy. Crazy. The data you forwarded about the Geth was disturbing. It doesn't match the stories we tell. Mm. Having second thoughts about the Geth? Admirals don't have the luxury of... Well, you don't well should. What do you need? I get it, though. Like, I'll let you get they have to, to follow through with their decisions. They can't be wishy-washy. Thank you, Commander. So that does, that does make sense. I get what she was saying, but it's also like... Mwah. And when their first decision needs to be right, but it's like... Mwah. Quarian, there we are. Mm-hmm. He passionately argued that the safest action for the civilian fleet was to stay with the flotilla. It's true. If they had tried to scatter at this point, they would have been probably taken down. You know what I mean? Like, individually. Uh, this was, the fleet's str strength lies in its, like, numbers. So. Making him a more reluctant hero as he mourns the loss of his ship and crew. Yeah. 
as as cruel as it is, he's the better one to save in this scenario. And his crew probably would have felt the same for the most part, you know. So. Shepherd Commander. Okay, bye. We'll talk later. We will remain here. Just like, I feel like I mean it's good to not hide Legion right in a box or in a corner somewhere. Um, but it also probably makes people nervous to have him out and about in our systems. Like, I can understand that reluctance. I'm ready to hit the Reaper base whenever you want. All right, nothing about the... Talk to you later, Tally. Okay. Sure. Sure. Um, we are going to go... So, darn nabbit, also, that mission did not. It only took like 45 minutes. We'll go poke Joker and Edie. Even these two don't have anything to say. Do you have anything to say? Commander, there's a new message at your private Figures. terminal. Figures. Anything else? Admiral Chorus has the civilian fleet back okay. in position. And just in time. I hope we can help the Corians. Looking at them, they're like us if we fail. We won't fail. Damn right. They're right. like us if we fail. You are comparing humanity who has lost their planet. Not even completely lost, right? There's still a resistance effort going on. For like, what, a couple weeks at this point? To people who friggin' try to genocide an entire sentient group of entities and their own people in some ways, the dissenters anyway, and that was for 300 years have been floating around in a migrant flotilla. No, it's we, if we fail, we're not gonna be floating around anywhere. We're all gonna die within like a hundred years. Like everybody will be wiped out. Trainer people, people with their like, oh, we're similar. Kind of like how what Tally did with with Javik, you know, where it's like, oh, I understand what it's like to not have a home or whatever. And it's like you are like once again, like the scale is like so much more scaled up. Like not to have a martyr like martyr contest or anything, like a martyr hierarchy, but like please. My cousin Dorn, from Navil Vas Grigult. The civilian free fleet is grateful you have returned our admiral to us. I mourn those who fell on the homeworld, but Zael Chorus stopped many vessels from flying past the waiting guns of the Gath. The admiral told me you met my cousin Dorn Hotson on, on Rannoch. It means much to me that Dorn was not alone when he passed. Thank you, Commander, for all that you have done. Yours most sincerely, the Captain. And they always said, I, this is such a good touch. They send these little notes, you know, like the, you get these notes about missions that you've done, things that you've done. And it just really ties it all in, I feel. I know I've said it a bazillion times, but everything ties together to make you feel the, like, impact of war. You know what I mean? You know, the Quarians have done pretty well with those suits. Maybe they can make something like that for you. Yeah, they have. Protective medical exoskeleton. I could even get one with racing stripes. So what's the problem? It's like walking around in heavy armor. It totally screws with my spatial awareness. I wear heavy armor, and my spatial awareness is perfect. Oh, please. Uh, you crashed the last ship. <laughs> I need to feel my balance shift when I'm flying. I need to feel the ship moving with me. You take that away. I don't know. I mean, I'm good, but I'm not me. Yeah, I get that. Well, Plus, if you've seen Tal, uh, come on, I don't have the hips to carry it. <laughs> Cal Rigger doesn't have hips either. <laughs> no, it's one of those things, right? It's like that, that uh, the, the like, discussion I've seen online a little bit, right? That, like, Disabled people aren't like, I want to be cured, like, all, you know, all the time, right? Like, it's just like, a, this is who I am, like, chronically disabled people. Not everybody, obviously. Like, some people would love to, like, change their situation. But, like, a lot of people are like, this is how I am. And, like, I don't I don't feel the need to change that to, like, fit in or, like, do some, some aspect of normalcy to make the people around me more comfortable. You know, it's just like, this is, this is, I've learned to deal with this and it is who I am. It's not just who you are, right? But it's like part of who you are, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm bungling that, but like, yeah, there's discussion about that where it's like, listen, I, like Joker is like, he's like, I, I'm not me if I augment myself in some way, you know, like I'm fine the way I am, you know? Nice job on the rescue mission, Commander. The Corian civilians are getting hammered out there. Apparently, putting a big ass gun on an agriculture ship doesn't match if we turn yeah. into a dreadnought. Who knew? No, no, I... You don't agree with the Corians arming oh, their oh, live oh. ships? No, the gun's nice, but without armor, they're just glass cannons. They are also more likely. Yeah, that's to my thing. 
The Geth would have ignored unarmed civilian ships as tactically insignificant. If your plan to invade a planet requires strapping guns to your kid's school bus, maybe it's a bad plan. Ooh. The Admiral Chorus will keep us safe from the Geth and themselves. That is a potent line, right? Wow. Strapping guns to your kid's school bus in order to, like, invade or to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. There could be some discussion pulled out of that about current modern issues for sure. What's going on, Edie? I am assisting Engineer Adams with his repair of the drive core shielding. Ah, well, I should leave you to it then. We can converse if you like, Shepard. It is a routine proceed. Uh oh, uh oh, me. What? What happened? Nothing. Unless you have strong feelings about oh, the Oh, Edie. Not funny, Edie. Yeah. I almost had you. I will alter my human chronometer appropriately for better time. My humor chronometer. Mm -mm. Having the camera be a little less sensitive is like, I have to move my hand a bit more. I'm like, and it's like, we shouldn't need to talk with anybody, but I'm going to go feed my jellyfish. It's every two missions I think that you're fine on. I just don't want to forget. I feel like I'll forget and then terrible things will happen. I'll forget for like three missions. So if I do it now and then I forget for two missions, it'll be fine. Oh, we got to change our loadout. We'll be able to do that on the, on the way out though. We should be good. Fuel reactors don't sort by priority Ranok. Land on Ranok and use the prototype targeting. Goal, I am not ready for this. This mi this mission, this upcoming mission, is one of the most ridiculous in the whole series, honestly. Like, just like the particular, there's a particular combat section that I'm just like. <laughs> Eh? <laughs> Why? <laughs> but... Do you have anything else to say? Come on, Dad. Nope. Okay. Do we have... I think everybody shouldn't have anything to say, really. Where Are they wandering around, though? I don't know. There's the are, Javik. Well, Javik is in the core! What's he doing in there? Yep, yeah, stop! Stop harassing Chakwas! Are you good? So, Udina finally went oh, over the Oh, yep, yep, yep. I never really liked the man. Now I know why. I mean, <coughs> he never, there was never a good reason to like him. <laughs> he never made a good reason to like him. But synthetics do not evolve. Mm. You are limited by your programming. Nothing changes. That is not accurate. I can modify my own programming if I choose. That is not evolution. That is simply an upgrade. What is evolution? But it would be my upgrade. I would choose the manner in which I wish to change. And what if your upgrade endangers others? All machines eventually see organics as a threat. Only those organics who would cause me harm. My right to self-defense endangers no one. What rights do you have? You are just a tool. And what right did your people have to subjugate the other races of your time? You enslaved them. We dominated them. They were weaker. Our will prevailed as evolution intended. Oh! And synthetic life has attained true consciousness, as was intended. Uh, Hardly. Ha ha. True life is more than a code upgrade. It is shaped by the forces around us. Machines are immune to those forces. You exist outside of nature. We are a part of this cosmos, whether you like it That's or not. That's very true. But synthetics do not evolve. I mean, she makes an excellent point. Like, she's a part of the cosmos, right? Like, she may not have evolved or been created the way organics are, but it doesn't mean she's any less a part of the galaxy than anybody else is. You are limited by Shut your... Shut up, Javik. Nothing. Let's simmer down, you two. I can't believe you put the lives of your crew in the hands of this machine. Edie has helped save our lives more times than I can count. Leave her alone. Now I suggest you agree to disagree and focus on the real threat, which is not on this ship. Yes, Commander. As you wish, Commander. He would murder me in my sleep, I'm pretty sure. 
I will still keep an eye on the machine, Commander. I mean, you can't because she's in like the walls. She's in everything. She's keeping an eye on you 24-7. Uh, okay, anybody else have any shenanigans? I'll go see if Liara has anything going down. Good to make the rounds. Good to make the rounds. Doctor Tassoni found oh. useful information in the data you recovered, Commander. In here, in the upgrades thing. Oh, improved Geth resistors. Uh, they appear to be designed for a turn. Blah 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 blah. Increase the wearer's damage output or improve their shields. Give me shields, please. My shields are constantly blowing up. Miniaturized armor capacitors. I just I just saw the miniaturized armor and I was like miniature armor. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> this data was the little action figures. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. This data was discovered and downloaded from inside the Geth consensus. Thousands of these miniaturized capacitors were installed beside armor power cells. They can be tweaked to either speed up shield regeneration or the rate at which tech, biotic, and combat powers can be used. Please give me a shield bonus. Usually I would do the power bonus stuff, but my powers are doing great. I need my shield. I need some work on my shields. I think they're pretty inconsequential, but you know, it is what it is. Okay. Perhaps we could. Oh, later. I was saying something. I remember now. Like I was, I was bringing up that guy that I met in the field, like at work, who was talking. I was talking about Mass Effect and stuff, and I was like, mm, I have a, I have a. We we're talking about like hot, like hot takes, kind of, but just like takes in general. Uh, about companions specifically, and I was like, mm, I know we're both archaeologists and all, but I've never really liked Liara. And he was like, I like he he was like I totally agree. And I was like, yes. So then we had to talk about Liara and how, despite her being a cool space alien archaeologist, or at least she was before they totally ruined her and turned her into an information broker. Uh, yeah, I never really liked her because her voice is very bland and her character is very bland and they make her just barely old enough as an adult technically, which is also weird. And like, you know, you know, just, and I just, she's just very bland. I, I don't dislike her really. I just never have been fond of her. Um, which a lot of people are. But that's my hot take. What? Dad. Uh, are you there? Come in. Where are you now? <gasps> Hurt. How bad? Dad, you have to get out of there. We'll send someone. Spirits. Please. Watch over them. Let me see them again. <sighs> I'm gonna cry again! Oh my gosh! Like, I'm tearing up! This is ridiculous! I'm glad we could help those quarians. Though, I guess not all of them. I'm telling you guys. It's never 100%, is it? I know. This is what we were talking about earlier, right? Like, he's like, listen, I know we just talked about this. Don't beat yourself up over it. You know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't save everyone. You have to make choices. As noble as it is to say we'll save everyone, you can't. Oh, uh, I'm pretty sure Garrus's dad makes it, but like, could you just imagine? Like, you just put you, I put myself in their shoes, right? Like, anybody, like, you put yourself in their shoes for a brief second, and you're just like, I could not imagine, like, hearing my father's voice in like a war torn area, and, like, trying to contact him, you know, and like my sisters, like, oh, it's gonna make me cry right now, actually. Huh, I can't do it. Caden, oh, this is this totally would be room. Caden would chill in with the books and the chair. Look at him. Good news. I've tracked down some of the people over Good. That will be a quest for later. The recruits you taught? Hmm. Found J-Squad. Black Ops. They're holed up making a stand in the Midwest, near Chicago, I think he said. Connected them with Anderson so they can help the resistance. It's a relief. Hope more turn up. I think we get to help him with that later a bit. Like, we get to go rescue some more. And honestly, like, I don't know. I can't remember if he's talked about it much. But yeah, he became kind of a teacher. Or like, he... Mm. He taught a bunch of recruits, and now they're out, like, trying to, like, do, like, trying to help with the, with the, with the war and everything. But they're all still pretty young, and they're his recruits. And I think Caden would make an excellent teacher, especially considering his experiences as a biotic being trained under, like, the initial programs. Like, he had that whole 
traumatic experience and everything. Caden is so generally soft spoken and like well thought. Like he thinks things through before he says things. Generally, is that when it concerns romance? Um, and he's very level headed and he's very kind. And I just think he'd be, but like you know, stern when he needs to be. And so like I just feel like he would he would be an excellent teacher and he'd be very attached to them and their safety and their well being. You know. So it was a good move from kind of like Jack, Jack, but Jack like the exact opposite. You'd not expect Jack to become a teacher, and she's like the coolest teacher ever. Um, boop beep, boop boop beep. Uh, okay, fine. We'll run down super fast to the shuttle bay. What's Cortez got to say? Anything? Gotta say, I enjoyed that last mission. You did get the shooty shooty. Yeah, hit him against the <laughs> jamming tower, and Esteban here feels like a big man. <laughs> oh no! Hey, the Kodiak is a transport, not a fighter. It's for dropping jarheads like you into hot zones. And if you stow the attitude, it might even be for picking you up again. Uh huh. Gonna get left out there, James. It's a good thing I don't take you out. <laughs> I still can't believe you went inside again. I don't even yeah. look. Completely look. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why my name is Lola. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba. I guess I will call this one here. We did it, the running around and chatting really quick, and that took up the time. In the next one, we will do the priority mission, Ranok, the final Ranok mission. Because we've done everything to help us out with that prior. So we're on track. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patrons. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who's gone above and beyond in his support of me and the channel, and who I cannot thank enough. So thank you all again, and I hope to see you in the next one.